Now, to tie the rest to that, the hook I'm using is a Batley Supreme Salmon, and it's a single, as you can see. Uh, it's an excellent hook for the rest to that, and one of the originals that was tied or used. Now, if I'm going to use a fire on thread, in this case it's a, an 8 -o. You probably could do with using maybe the and this hook this size, 6 -o. but I'm just going to use the, the 8 -o. I just run thread down till we cross me around about and you let the bobbin go, it's in, the thread is in line with the point of the hook right there just remove the base piece now for the rib use a, a nice fine, in this case it's a small oval gold tinsel and use this for the tag now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can measure out this at a length you want the body. It's the body's in two halves. Now I can run, let this down, lie it down, the full length of the second half of the body. Just catch it on the side and run it down about maybe eight to ten tons of thread and then bring the thread back up. This point here. And then you must get these touching all the way up. Nice and tight, and catch it on the side. Now, there's the, what I like to do is just carry one up with the thread, just tying these in, tying in your tag. So it's what I'm doing here is really I'm probably wasting some of the double tinsel, but I like to do this for more than anything. It's for strength. And for balancing the fly, it helps to just slightly give the measurement that you need. And then you just fold this back. And I'll keep it on my side and work my way back down. To get to the tag. Now it has a tail, I'm going to use some, in this case it's peacock sob tail. Looking probably around about half a dozen fibres. It's got a nice curl in it that you may want for a tail. The fibre length, the tail length, just just by the bend of the hook. Tie it on top, two or three turns to hold. And look at your length. Now you can leave that there, I'm just going to take the curls off it. That there will help to build the body up as well. Now, for the second, the first part of the body I'm going to use a stout floss. This is a Piezo's floss. A silk floss. And the colour is number... 53. I'm going to tie this on the side, the length of the first half of the body. Close touch and turns. Just work your way up and take your time. It starts to come round a wee bit, just force it back round with your finger. Get to this point here. Now, what I like to do is open floss out, just rub it like this on the side and work your way up. Just open out the turns. Makes for a stronger body and a smoother body. Just take your time. Get to this point here. Catch it on the side. Now you're going to fold some of this back. Now, what I'm going to do here is cut maybe about two inches, leave about two inches of the waist and come carry on up with my thread. It's basically tidying up. To get to this point here, which is the second part of the body, I'd fold this back. Just work it down. This is part of the wing. Now what you can do, just a single turn of thread just to lock that out of the way just to see how things are if you're happy then you say okay now come in it's just peacock hair, just normal peacock hair then we tie it in close to the tips again just tie it in, build it up and wind the hair the opposite way you actually wind your thread. So 
what are we up to this point here? Just the f a good length of maybe three mil from the eye. Two or three locking turns to tie it in. So you can hold this out of the way to bring the rib up. Just one, two, three, four. Let's turn go, let it fall back. And carry on all the way up. Tying in your hero. And again, cross your thread, tie it down. Now what I like to do here is, with the stout floss, look at the length you want. I want it slightly less than the tail, so I'll come in, trim away the point, and then, using a fine brush or something, just brush out the nice fibres. Just adds a bit of colour to the wing. Now, for the main wing itself, I'm going to use Silver Fox. Now you could use the mask as, as far as I believe is much better than the, the actual body. But then I don't have the mask so I'm going to use the skin. Just remove the, the hair and then the under fur. It's very easy. Just hold the points of the, the guard here and the fur will come away. Now don't throw that away because that makes a great dubbing. And then what I like to do is put it into a stacker. Tap it. Put the end points first. That will put... I'll Put all the, the black tips in line, just makes for a better fly. Length, just, I would say the tips in line with the end of the, the under ring, the floss. If you feel you've still got a bit of guard or under fur there, you can pull it away. Doesn't have to pull it all away. My length. Now I'm going to trim it at the tips. And then bring this on top. Ring the thread, cut the thread into the cut ends, tighten up. Makes for a stronger wing if you do that. Make sure it stays on top. And if you want, touch it with your nail and just so flatten it slightly and spread the fibres. And again, more will get caught in if you do that. Get your thread down, and then come back up nice and tight. Now I'm going to use this is a, a grizzle. Now I've got a, this is a patch I've got, it's a cock saddle patch, but at the very top and at the back you've got these very soft and well marked henny type feathers, ideal for hackles. Now I'm going to tie, tighten by the tip, now the hackle fibre length should go round about halfway into the wing. Just catch it on the side, fold back the tip, this is tucking it back, keep the thread tight, break away the point. Then. Do one turn in front of the other, pulling back the fibres as you go. Just keep going until you get enough. Now this is a size 2, so I need a good 3 or 4 turns anyway. Probably more 4 than, than anything. Just keep going. Once you get enough on, just bring it up beside the thread. 93 bend into the hackle. I just usually take it down. And again, for security, I fold this back and anything going forward, just tuck it back, tie it down. Keep the thread tight and you can break this off. There you go in and what finish. And there we are. That there's your rusty rat. All you have to do, a couple of coats of varnish. The job's done. Very popular fly in America, and especially Canada.